hi friends welcome to my channel and this is part 7th video in system center data protection manager uh, 2019 and in this video I'm going to focus on how to restore VMware vCenter server virtual machine by using system center data protection manager so the process is going to be remain same if you are using system center data protection manager or MABS which is Microsoft Azure backup server so both are a kind of similar uh, similar product uh, the only thing uh, is the licensing uh, if you compare system center data protection manager or Microsoft as uh, um, Azure backup server so uh, in last video uh, videos we have done the installation for system center data protection manager 2019 and then we have con uh, configured the back uh, configured the virtual machines backup uh, we have done the backup and restore for the hyper-v standalone server hyper-v failover cluster virtual machines and in last video we have done the backup for the VMware uh, vCenter server virtual machine a and in this video I'm going to show you restore for the virtual machine which is uh, running on the vCenter server infrastructure so let's uh, have an idea about my demo environment so I'm using the four virtual machines which I'm using in my last video which was part 6 so the first machine is active directory and DNS server so this is my domain controller my domain controller is win 2 k 19 dc01 and my domain name is labshandson.com so here you can see active directory and DNS rule is installed on this machine and this is win 2 k 19 dc01 and my domain name is labsensor.com so this is my domain controller and the second machine is our scdpm server where we have installed and configured system center data protection manager 2019 so if i go here you can see win2k19 dpm and this is also joined in my domain so this is uh, this is a dpm server and you can see i have logged in my dpm console you can see we have configured the vcenter server virtual machine backup in last video you can see this vcenter server in vcsa 70 which is here this is running vcenter server appliance 7 which is running on my vmware workstation so this vcenter server is already added in my uh, dpm server and two virtual machines which is running on this uh, vmware infrastructure you can see here vm01 and vm02 both are getting protected by uh, this vcenter server uh, this dpm server and this on this uh, vcenter server we having one esxi server which is esxi01 vmware esxi so this esxi is here uh, this is also running on my vmware workstation so you can see uh, the this is vmware infrastructure and we are backing up both the virtual machines by using dpm so you can see here we have total recovery point if you see we have uh, four recovery point for both the virtual machines vm1 and vm2 so to give you example i'm going to shut down this machine so i'm going to do two things so first one let's assume this virtual machine i'm going to shut down and both machine i'm going to shut down and one machine i'm going to completely delete and second machine i'm going to you know basically uh, uh, rename the folder and remove from the inventory so this machine you can see is now uh, powered off so if I duplicate the tab and go to my data store so here you can see my data store so if I go to my data store you will see here I have folder called VM01 so what I'm going to do I'm going to remove this server from inventory so you will see now this machine is removed VM01 is removed from inventory and I'm going to rename this folder to something else so just go there and you need to make sure this rename is highlighting so just give me one second and you can see from here we can rename it so I'm going to call it like uh, uh, let's assume your VM01 is bad now it's having some OS related issue or any application issue and you want to restore so the first thing you need to remove the that machine from the inventory so so the new machine will be created and you need to like you can call it bad VM or something like this 
and click OK. So now this folder is renamed. You can see VM01 bad VM is renamed. And you can keep this folder for safety purpose if in case you need any data from this. So now we have only one machine here and I'm going to try to restore this machine. To restore VM01 we need to go to recovery and from recovery you need to expand the v VMware server and then your vCenter server, data center. I having India data center here. If you see here, I having India data center then prod VM. So I need to expand that so you can see here so now I have VM01 so if if you want to see the recovery point you can see I having four recovery point for uh, 1st October and if you want to if you having more recovery point you can right click on this machine and you can see all the recovery point here so whatever recovery point uh, whatever place you want to go just uh, select that uh, particular recovery point and click on recover so now this will launch the uh, review recovery selection so you this will show you the recovery from where the recovery is happening and recovery point and recovery item what we are going to recover and size and the recovery source so where we are going to uh, from where it's recovering so just click next and if you want to limit the network bandwidth or something you can do that so just click on next and recover to original instance you can even recover to any other ESXi host or environment also so I'm going to recover it to original original instance just click next now now you will see here it's going to recover to ESXi01 local so this is my data store name so you can see here our data store name is this however if you want to modify these things definitely you can uh, modify from here and you can browse the browse the ESXi host then resource pool folder data so everything you can control so I'm going to just restore at the same place and going to show you so go ahead and click on recover so now you will see recovery process is going to be triggered and uh, you can basically close this uh, uh, window and you can monitor this the recover uh, restore from the monitoring task so I'm going to close this and going in monitoring and from here you can see one uh, in progress job and you can see our disk recovery is in progress and this is going to recover in our vCenter server itself so now you will see some task here soon so wait for a few seconds or few minutes then you will see the progress now you will see here some task is has been performed on we set the server so you can see a uh, virtual machine is created by default the virtual machine name is going to be a virtual machine whatever uh, you the VM you are recovering hyphen recovered so you will see here this is getting recovered and now if I go to DPM you will see the data restore has been started so this is good and if I go now on my ESXi storage uh, basically data store and you will see here one folder is is uh, created and which is called uh, VM name and uh, recovered and you can see here the VMDK file is getting copied now so this is good so uh, recovery is uh, started and it's going to take some time to uh, restore our machine so this is this is one way to re restore uh, your virtual machine and I'm going to show you second way also for, uh, let's assume this is the virtual machine which we are trying to recover and this machine is got deleted clump, uh, completely deleted for your infrastructure so I'm going to delete from disk and now if you see here uh, I refresh the data store you will see here no folder for the VM02 so uh, VM is completely deleted and now I'm going to restore that machine also so to restore that machine again you need to go to the recovery select the virtual machine which you want to recover right click so all recovery points then you need to select which recovery point you want to restore and then click on recover and this time you need to verify all these informations click next and if you want to use the network bandwidth throttling click next and now I'm going to recover this virtual machine uh, on any host so for example if if you your cluster or your ESXi vCenter server having multiple ESXi hosts 
all the ESXi hosts are going to be visible here just need to select the correct uh, ESXi host click OK and the, if you having resource pool you you will get the all the resource pools name if you, you have not created resource uh, pool the default one resources is going to show you and then you need to select the folder where you want to restore so select your correct folder so I'm going to restore on uh, prod VMs and then finally you need to select your data store which is connected with that particular ESXi host so just click OK and then click next and now you will see the uh, all the details what we are this re restore is going to be performed so just click on recover so now this will start the recovery so now if I go and close everything and I go and uh, you can see the recovery is started and now if I go to vCenter server uh, you can see here this machine is recovered I guess and we can go ahead and power on so just validate the information so VM02 recovery is started it's going to soon it's going to create you can see here the virtual machine is also created for VM02 recovered so this is good machine recovery should be started we'll s we can see the transfer soon so now what I'm going to do I'm going to just verify the jobs which has been completed so if I go here you can see data recovery for this VM01 has been completed and it's take, take, taken around less than 3 minutes to complete the recovery so this is good and now once you verify uh, the recovery is completed you are good to go and power on the virtual machine so I'm going to just power on the virtual machine and going to see uh, if everything goes well with the machine itself so just wait for a few seconds to uh, boot the machine so now we can see we got the login screen and I'm going to try to log in so now I can log in uh, into machine without any issue and just verify the communication so I'm going to type the you will see this unexpected shutdown uh, tracker so you, you can type any uh, information like uh, restored from SCDPM just for information and then I'm going to show you who am I so you can see I am uh, logged in with the domain account and if I show you from where I have log on server you can see my domain control so this is good this machine is recovered uh, from the DPM and working fine so the last thing you need to just rename this uh, fold uh, VM so this is good now and uh, if if your uh, environment having like a uh, um, storage v motion if you do the storage v motion for this virtual machine the the file uh, the folder name is also going to be um, renamed from the recovered is going to be re uh, removed and whatever f vm name you have it's going to rename the folder is also going to remain the, uh, rename the same so this is good so let's we verify the vm02 recovery so you can see VM02 recovery is also completed we can see in completed so this is good and now I'm going to power on that machine also just to verify so rename just remove this click OK and now just go ahead and power on this machine and verify the information and after login so this is good we can see everything is good for f for the VM01 we can close this and now I'm going to verify VM02 and you can see we got the both folder created VM02 and VM01 recovered so this is good and now I'm going to log into VM02 so we are able to log in with the domain account so everything seems good just go ahead and verify the credential and domain connectivity so who am I? I am LabSense on uh, VM admin and type the set so it's authenticating from domain control so this is also good 
so we got both virtual machine recovered successfully by using the SCDPM so we did two things uh, first machine we have recovered from the like um, uh, it's it's there in the data store just we rename the virtual machine and remove from the remove from uh, removed it from the inventory and second uh, VM we have uh, completely deleted from the um, uh, storage uh, a data store and then we have recovered so now if I go in protection you will see here re replica is going to be uh, inconsistent so you need to uh, perform the recovery point you will perform once you perform the uh, perform the consistency check it's going to be healthy so just need to wait for some time then it's going to be automatically going to show you status ok and in case you having any issue while trying to uh, re-enable the protection then I recommend you to just go ahead and stop the protection for the old and don't delete the replica uh, uh, replica from the disk just click OK and now do it same for the other machine so you will see uh, you need to make sure retain data uh, uh, retain pro protected data is marked and you will see now both computer will move to uh, inactive protection group so now I am going to basically you can go ahead and re-enable the protection for these virtual machine you will see here uh, this is now showing the unprotected so you will see here uh, uh, inactive protected so what you need to do just go again and create a new protection group might be you can directly create a new protection group and enable enable that as your uh, uh, as per your requirement else you can just go ahead and create a new protection group for the uh, for the VMs which we have uh, recovered or might be if you have already created any protection group you can you can enable the, the enable the backup there so I'm going to show you how to enable once again for the existing INV CSA 70 VMs backup and then click next and schedule your backup as per your requirement so I'm going to just do it for the demo purpose so create group so it's going to say you the request is going to be initiated as soon as possible so that's okay just click ok now you will see here the VM is going to be status is going to be I'll uh, show you okay soon when when you do create a new backup uh, with the same uh, same assets or same servers it's going to uh, the inactive protection is going to be again active so if if you did uh, inactivate uh, basically deactivated the backup protection it's going to activate again so this is good so now you can see the backup status for both the virtual machine is ok protection status is ok so this is good so this is how you can restore your virtual machine which is running on VMware vCenter server uh, by using system center data protection manager or Microsoft Azure backup server so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post to me my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye